Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about stoichiometry, calculating quantities of reactant and product. A balanced equation is essential for all calculations involving chemical change. In a balanced equation, the amounts mole of substances are stoichiometrically equivalent to each other, which means that a specific amount of one substance is formed from produces or reacts with a specific amount of the other. If you know the number of moles of one substance, then the balance equation tells you the number of moles of the other. For example, let us consider the combustion of propane. If we view the reaction quantitatively in terms of, we notice that Hence, in this reaction, we can say that In the same way, we can also say that And so on As you can see, just because of the balanced chemical equation, we can relate each substance to one another in solving stoichiometry problem, here is an approach. First, write the balance equation. Second, convert the known mass gram of a substance to amount mole of a substance. Third, use the molar ratio to calculate the unknown amount mole of the other substance. And four, convert the amount mole of the other substance to the desired quantity. Let us apply this by solving a problem. In a lifetime, the average American uses more than half a ton of copper in coins, plumbing, and wiring. Copper is obtained from sulfide ores such as chalcosite by a multi-step. After initial grinding, the ore is roasted or heated strongly with oxygen gas to form powdered copper oxide and gaseous sulfur dioxide. Question is how many moles of oxygen are required to roast 10 mole of copper sulfide First, we need to determine the balance equation. So now we have So second step, we already have the amount mole of So let us skip step 2 We then use molar ratio to find the mole required of oxygen. So we have From the balance equation, the molar ratio that we need to use is so we have okay we have 15 mole O2 needed to roast 10 mole of copper sulfide for additional question during the process how many grams of sulfur dioxide form when 10 mole of copper sulfide reacts so first recall the balance equation we have we are given copper sulfide of 10 mole and we are asked to find the mole required of sulfur dioxide so we have from the balance equation the molar ratio that we need to use is so we have we then convert the amount mole to the desired quantity which is mass So we have 641 grams of sulfur dioxide formed when 10 mole of copper sulfide reacts. Again for another additional question. During the roasting of chalcosite, how many kilograms of oxygen are required to form 2.86 kg of copper oxide? So first write the balance equation. Second step, convert the known mass of a substance to amount mole of a substance. we are given so we have third step use the molar ratio to calculate the unknown amount mole 
of the other substance. From the balance equation, the molar ratio that we need to use is so we have okay the fourth step convert the amount mole to the desired quantity the amount mole of oxygen equals to 30 mole of oxygen and the molar mass of oxygen equal to 32 gram per mole so we then have Okay, so that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.